Well, the Winans are music royalty and the talent runs deep. For Grammy-nominated artists Juan and Lisa Winans, it's already been a great summer competing on Songland and releasing a hit single as well. And we are so excited to catch up with both of them now. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, how hello. are you? Oh, you know, I'm happy to talk to you guys. I have to ask you because these are very challenging times and you guys mm -hmm. come from not only uh, a musical family, but also a very spiritual family. And I wonder what your process is for dealing with all that's going on in the world right now. Well, it's, it's such a tragic time. Uh, yeah. But, you know, my uncle Marvin came down with COVID-19 fairly early on in early March and he recovered, thank God. Uh, but he said something I thought was so poignant. He said, now is the time to have faith in our faith. Mm -hmm. And so for us, although it's, there's tragedy all around, there's so much darkness, there seems to be so much evil, really. Uh, we always go back to the drawing board of our faith. Well, let's talk about some of the good news that you guys have in addition to your uh, two uncles being better. You guys were on Songland. I'm such a fan <laughs> of the show. You probably have touched elbows with a lot of music, you know, big celebrities. But what was it like to actually work with boys to men? Like, what was <laughs> oh, that like yeah. for you guys? Was, were you all kind of like, ah, it's just boys to men? No. No. <laughs> if you can no. see, if you've seen the show, you see how excited we are. Um, the show Songland presents such a unique opportunity for songwriters that are established and those that are, you know, still getting their foot on the ground. So to work with legends, it was really uh, incredible to have that experience for sure. I'm sure. And, you know, for people who have not seen the show, one of the things that I love about it, it's kind of like you just kind of get a window into what the whole songwriting process is like. So for you guys, you come in there with this song and then right before your eyes, right, it just turns into this jam session. Let's, <laughs> add this, let's do this. What is that like? The moment we agreed to do it and they picked us and we were kind of we were really excited about that. Yeah. We kind of made up in our minds that we are going on this show to not just present our song, but to have our song critiqued yes. and hopefully made better. And so we were open to it. I mean, that was like the first time in the history of the show, they picked every song that came before them. We did not see that coming. We did not. And we were super happy for Chris Lee because, you know, you spend like a week together yeah, or, or nine or that, 10 yeah. days. And so you get to know these people and you develop a camaraderie mm -hmm. and it, it feels like a little family. And when we watched the show with our daughter, um, I think she was very convinced that we won. And so when she <laughs> saw the moment that we didn't, she just had this crestfallen look on her face. And then she heard Nathan's announcement and she just turned and was like, what? You know, <laughs> she was so excited. So she's been asking us every day when they're going to record the songs. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me join her in saying, when are we going to hear the, When are they going to record the song? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it would have been fairly immediate, but then kind of the world turned upside down. And so I think they had to really rush to even do Chris Lee's song. Yeah. And so I think it's just a, a matter of time. Well, let's talk about your hit song. Um, hey. You recorded with Uncle Marvin. I'm going to yes. call him Marvin. <laughs> it belongs to me. Tell us about this single, which I love so much. It's a beautiful song. Thank you. The, the interesting thing to me in the moment, and even as I reflect back, is I never heard the song in my voice. It didn't come to me in my voice. It didn't come to me in our collective, like as Juan and Lisa Winans. I heard my uncle singing it. Mm. You know, I, we wrote it. I sent it to him and nothing, no response. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, so a couple of weeks went by, I sent it again, still nothing. And then three or four months go by and we're in Detroit for my brother's wedding and I'm at his house and he said, he calls me Wani Wan, unfortunately. None of you <laughs> can ever call me that. I can't that. believe you just, just said so that you out know. loud. But I'm trying to be accurate about this conversation. That's right? a good one. <laughs> he, he said, he said Wani Wan, I didn't get to hear you sing. And I said, well, you know, Pastor, it's interesting because I sent you this song and you never responded. And he said, Juan, I love that song. Thank you for telling me earlier. Right. I've been like self-doubt and loathing since you, Oh, my you know, God. Uh, yeah, but Lisa, how does this work within the wine and family? Because you like, come on now. Is it's it just a foregone conclusion that if I ask you as family to sing on my song, you got to sing on my song? No, not at all no. not at all we don't take that for granted i mean we are tr i am a true fan and i believe Juan is a true fan of the gifts and yeah, the absolutely. talents in his family so no we, we don't take it for granted and this is i think to just show that this is the first time we've recorded i recorded with him yeah and we've been yeah. writing songs and making music for a while but it's just 
it's the right moment and it's the right song. What kind of feedback have you gotten from fans and people that you don't know about this song? Uh, we've gotten Good. tremendous, yeah, tremendous feedback. You know, we're finding um, more ways than we realized that the song would minister and be impactful for a moment like this. And one reference yeah. in light of, you know, um, the, the murder of George Floyd, in light of um, Breonna Taylor, Maude Arbery, people, you know, that we're standing in solidarity with and praying for their families. You know, the, this concept that freedom is a God-given right, and it's something that we are still fighting for um fighting for that justice that's just another layer where the song you know spoke to us so is there a whole album that you're working on to go with it belongs to me is that part of oh yeah boy are we <laughs> <laughs> yes we are well we'll have to revisit that then it belongs to me is available on all major digital retailers now you guys thank you and stay safe and stay sane thank you so thank much thank you and Thanks be blessed you. as well